Congratulations, Roger, a ninth title here in Basel. We could see how much it meant to you out there on the court, but can you try and put that into words for us? It's very difficult, you know, for me to explain what it, uh, how it feels like, because, uh, you know, just walking out for a, a Basel finals was always my dream, maybe, just even or, or just playing on the centre court was a, was a thrill 21 years ago for the qualies. Um, so when you sit there and the trophy ceremony is starting and the ball kids walk out, I remember being in their shoes and me walking out, you know, with my friends at the time that I did it for two years. So, um, you know, and then I give them all a medal, thank them for their efforts. And I feel like I'm looking at myself in some ways, you know, uh, when Wayne Ferreira and uh, other great players gave me my first medal here in Basel. So to come through and uh, win again here in my hometown, never knowing if this might be your last time that you had the opportunity to play a finals to maybe win for the last time here in, the, in my city. Um, it obviously means a lot to me and it becomes very emotional. So emotional always at the very end. And you have grown up here. You've, you've got so much expectation on you, so much pressure. Does that get harder every year that you do better, that you win every year and there's just more and more expectation? I mean, look, I was tense today. I was nervous, you know, but it started more throughout uh, the game because I, you know, I couldn't really um, get my game going the way I, I was hoping it to go against Koppel. But he did very well. I think he um, came out and he played nice tennis, you know. Thankfully, I, I was uh, really good this week by taking my opportunities, you know, especially on the return of serve. And I think that's what get, got, got me victory this week. Not so much the serving, but actually my returning part, so which I can be very happy about. Um, after that, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, like, of course I have pressure, of course I have nerves, but I try to block it aside and just enjoy it for what it is and actually more think of what a privilege it is to be in this position. You touched on it a bit there, but how impressed have you been with Koppel? I mean, he had his attitude today was fearless. He, he yeah. broke you twice early on and he looked really good out there today. He played great, you know, that's what I told him as well. He's won more matches than I did this week, so he's the champ really of the Basel, Basel week. Uh, unfortunately for him, he couldn't get it done maybe at the very end, but uh, uh, nevertheless, this is a great year end for him and uh, I hope he's going to play another great season next year. But uh, what a nice serve he has and, uh, you know, nice, cool demeanour on the court as well. And I'm. I wish him all the best, really. And what next for you? Obviously, you've had a tough week. You've got a lot of family and friends here. Mm -hmm. You celebrate for a few days, have a few days off? Um, so I've been celebrating already. We've had a great time. A lot of kiddies around, running around, um, cousins and um, family. And, uh, and then obviously friends, you know, who I know since, since such a super long time. My, my godparents are here. Everybody's here. So we had about over 50 tickets this uh, this match today so we it's always more fun when you can celebrate in a big group so that was awesome and then uh, yeah so now we got the press and I got all that stuff coming and then later on I'll, I'll drive home and, and sleep in my own bed it's gonna be great and you have the pizza party as well to come absolutely you're right I totally forgot I got the pizza party with all the the ball kids uh, happening like I do every year so I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be great fun I'm looking forward to it